IGC family so welcome to another episode of support your own this time I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some books that I got so let me start off by saying I did not buy these you guys but I would have I definitely would have but I won them in a contest that they had um, for their Facebook page so I'll show you the books and then I'll tell you where I got them I already opened the box and you guys might have seen this on my page I had shared it on my page and I said let me do an unboxing and people probably are like why are you doing an unboxing we can already see what the book is well what you couldn't see is this there's more than one book so that's why I said I'll do an unboxing so it was more than one book for you guys with the slick tongues talking about why is she doing an unboxing it's just one book it's multiple books so you can pull your tongue back I know how y'all island people are. All right, so I already took it out of the box, but I'm on bubbling it now, taking the bubble wrap off. Oh, and I love it. I love it. I love it. So the first one is the one that you guys could see, which says Native Recipes. It's a thick book, guys. Oh, and it smells so fresh. This is a thick one. UVI bookstore St. Croix. So it has a lot of local recipes in here. Appetizers and soups. Beverages, vegetables, the main dishes. What is plantain pie, you guys? I don't know. What is plantain pie? I'm going to have to look into that because I like plantain. Deserts and candies, pickles. Mm -mm. Ain't nobody doing no pickles and relishes. Who put that in this book? Jams, jelly, seasoning. They got some Puerto Rican holiday stuff in there. Um, but I love it. And I'm going to be trying a lot of these. So my husband had a copy like this. Because his mom works at UVI. So now I got my own copy. <laughs> Which I love. I'm going to do so much of this stuff. It has how to make guava, guava berry liquor. It has how to make two different types or three different types, sorry, of sorrel. Tamarindade and tamarind juice and tamarind syrup. And I'm saying tamarind, but I know we grew up calling it tamarind. And it's not till I came up to the States I hear people talking about tamarind. I'm like, what was tamarind? Because we grew up calling it tamarind. So that's the first book, you guys. Native Recipes UVI Co Cooperative Extension Service. And the UVI label on the back. All right, so the ones that you did not see or you couldn't tell that was in there. Oh, this is so cute. Julius the Chef Jackson. <laughs> oh, that's cute. My Modern Kitchen, and it has 70 fresh takes on island favorites. Oh, my gosh, look at that. Oh, that looks yummy, doesn't it? I can eat that up. I wonder what it is. It looks so good. So this is by Julia Jackson. That's cool. Julius, sorry, I think I said Julian. Julius says this book is dedicated to all the Caribbean islands that have been devastated by hurricanes Irma and Maria. Let us take an opportunity to rebuild and become stronger than ever. I love the picture in the book. That's very pretty. I'm looking at it for the first time with you guys. So this is the first time I'm actually opening it up so you guys can see. So my natural reactions, and I love it so far. Got fully loaded breakfast. Big Pot Caribbean Dishes, Island Fusion, Top Rank Soups, Satisfying Snacks and Sides, and Vacation in a Glass. Okay, we skip into the Vacation in a Glass section because I want to see what that about. Eat one toy tree. What is a Vacation in a Glass? Because I could use some of that now. Yeah, we are in this COVID stuff. Vacation in a Glass. That's the um. Tamarind juice. Oh, yeah. See, they both have the tamarind juice. The other book has tamarind juice. This one have it, too. And that looks so nice, ain't it? That looks nice. You need 20 ripe tamarinds and some sugar, and that's it. They got sorrel in here, too. I guess I'm going to be trying a lot of different Caribbean drink recipes. 
Sorry, I'm mango. That sounds good. It looks good. Sorry, I'm mango. I will definitely be trying these. And I'll share them on my page when I try some of these recipes. Fresh off the tree passion fruit juice. But I'm not going to get no passion fruit juice fresh off the tree unless I buy my aunt. Send my aunt. Send somebody, you know. You can send stuff with seeds in it. Passionate papaya mix up. That sounds good. Let's see some of the food that they got. Uh, Jackson clan red pea soup. Does it have one without pork in it? I'll need to find. If you know a recipe for red pea soup without pork in it, y'all let me know where I can find it because I need a recipe for red pea soup because I love red pea soup, but I don't eat pork, so I need one that doesn't have pork. Well, tell me some good substitutes for the pork. Oh, they got goat water in here. I don't eat that either, but it looks good. <laughs> Old time chicken soup. Oh, that looks nice. I guess I'm in the soup section. That looks nice. Let me see what kind of food it has. Caribbean cakes, a deer. Breakfast in bed for Keisha sandwich. Slamming salmon balls. That's the, that he named it that. I didn't name it that. Tangy Creole fish, stewed conch, as seen on TV, Caribbean stewed chicken. That's funny. I didn't this is the one that was on the cover. You just, you know, the chicken look a little bit different, but the rice looks the same. You guys, doesn't that look good? That looks good. I think I'm going to try. I'm going to be trying that. Ooh. We got some plantains in the background. Breakfast pate. I wonder if this is a good pate dough recipe. Because I need a good pate dough recipe. Pumpkin fritters, which I love. Oh, I guess I'm in the breakfast section now. All right, so this was the second book that came in it, which is by Julia the Chef Jackson, My Modern Caribbean Kitchen. I like it. There's a lot of good stuff in there. All right, so this is the last one in here from, written by Chanel Peterson Raphael. Honey, if I said your name wrong, you just correct me. <laughs> Chanel Peterson Raphael. I think that's how I say it. The best sugar-free vegan cookbook ever. Ooh. 60 plus recipes for a healthy lifestyle for the whole family. So this was the last one. And it's a vegan cookbook. And it's sugar-free. Let's see. Creamy butternut. Oh, I love butternut squash. Creamy butternut squash soup. Creamy Alfredo linguine. Oh, this looks good. That's a linguine and that's the burner squash. It looks good. Ooh. Protein cereal snack and some stuffed bell peppers. I guess the, the some of the pictures that are in there, it tells you which pages to find the recipes on. Yeah, so it, it has the pages to find the recipes on based on the pictures. smoothie recipes meaty lasagna but that's going to be with some turkey these look like some bars but it's oh i guess it's just to tell me where to find it in the book hummus oh my god there's a hummus recipe in here three minute hummus i love hummus i used to have a co-worker who used to bring it in his mom was from um Italy or wherever, and she used to make it from scratch. Oh my god, that thing used to taste so nice. Ooh. If I can make it myself, mm. chickpeas, flour, scrambled eggs, breakfast bowl, baked macaroni and cheese. I guess so. It has like the substitutes because you're not going to be using cheese because it's vegan. So in this one, she uses uh, cashew milk. And yeast, miso paste, baked sweet potato, garlic powder, onion powder, and some Himalayan sea salt, which sounds good. Liquid smoke, coconut oil. It's a different way to make that macaroni and cheese. I have to try this because I love macaroni and cheese. And in the, <laughs> I love this. So in the ingredient, she says one teaspoon sea salt, right? And she's like, trust me. <laughs> I love that. She put trust me in parentheses. I got to try this one because I love macaroni and cheese. If there's a vegan way to do it and it still tastes good, I'm going to try it. 
And it's also a stovetop mac and cheese in here. That's cool. I gotta find cashew milk though. Creamy Alfredo linguine, stuffed bell peppers. So these are the recipes. Vegan burger. Ooh, two portobello mushrooms. That sounds good. The versatile hot dog meatball deli meat. I'm gonna have to look at this because. Okay, so it's no meat. So this is her version of meat, meat, quote unquote. But you're using different ingredients like onions, garlic, soy sauce, tomato sauce, mustard, marjoram, paprika, coriander. It all sounds good. I guess I'll try it out. So I'll try it and share these recipes, you guys, on my channel. So creamy butternut squash. Oh, that's the one I'm looking for. And that one looks like it's easy to make, too. Oh, see, I'm forgetting that y'all on here, right? Because I'm busy up in these recipes and these books. So thank you. So who can send me these books? <laughs> books on bush tea on instagram so they had a contest going where you shared out their um, instagram page and you shared out um you could link so this is all the ways that you could have had an entry right you could have shared their post um share it on your own page share it on facebook and instagram and then comment in the comments with like tagging people in the comments so y'all know your girl love food so i did every single one of them things <laughs> And apparently that helped because I won the um the books. So Books and Bushy was the one who sent me the books. Now Books and Bushy, from what I've read and what I've seen, they were supposed to open up a bookstore in the Virgin Isles in St. Thomas in 2020. But because of COVID, you know, so much stuff is not happening. So that they're going to open it up next year, 2021. I can't remember the location. I'll have to look on their page for the location. But you guys, check out Books and Bush Tea. They're always sharing Caribbean books. Like if you're looking for Caribbean books to read, they have like, they're always sharing Caribbean books. Like there are some that I put on my list to read based on their recommendations and what they're sharing on their page. So how can you support your own? Because they don't have the book, especially since they don't have the store open up yet. How we support our own, as always, you know, share their pages, like their pages. Um, go out there and share with a friend who's looking, who may be looking for some Caribbean books that they're trying to read. And they're not just doing like Virgin Islands, they're doing all Caribbean islands. Because I think one of the books was, um, I can't remember the title of the book, but it was like something with Jamaica. And then they had another book that was written by a Trini, I know. Um, so they share like all types of Caribbean books. So it's not just Virgin Islands, but you know, we're not one island. We're all Caribbean. So you should be reading, be reading all Caribbean books, not just from the Virgin Islands. So thank you, Books and Bushy, for my books. You guys remember to go out there and support your own and support Books and Bushy. And you should also get these. I'm going to be sharing, like when I do some of the recipes out of these books, I'm going to be sharing them on my channel. So the best sugar-free vegan cookbook ever by Chanel. This one is Julius Jackson, My Modern Caribbean Kitchen. And the Native Recipes book, which was the one that you guys saw originally. Oh, I can't wait to try these recipes, you guys. Make sure that you go out there and share and like their page. I don't know if they already, they might have already have some of these in stock. I don't know because they were supposed to open the store. So if you are looking for one, because I know somebody asked me like where they can get this one. So if you are looking for them, hit them up on Facebook or Instagram and, you know, ask them because they may have them in stock because they had these to send me. So they might have it in stock to send you guys. So books and bush tea. I'm going to put all the links down in the comments in the description so you guys can share it out. Make sure you share their page, like their page. Maybe they'll have another contest where you can win some books like I did. <laughs> And I hope you guys come back and watch another episode of Support Your Own. So this time we're supporting Books and Bush Tea and these fabulous artists because I'm going to be trying all the recipes in the books. These authors and chefs. All right, you guys. See you guys in the next video.